guys, Autofanatic. I'm going to share with you guys something really cool and exciting. This is going to be the first demo of the third version of the Autofanatic Snow Foam. This is going to be kind of like a wash and shine product. There's no color and scent added to this now. We're still in the development stages of it. So with the demand and feedback from 007 Gloss Enhancer around the world, uh, a lot of customers have been emailing me every week asking me, when are you coming out with your own uh, you know, car wash soap? So I reinvested some money and we've been working on this for a couple of months and we're almost there. Like I said, it's really tricky to add synthetic polymers to a snow foam and actually give it really rich foam and also good cleaning action. We also wanted to keep the pH level within a certain uh, level and also give good self-cleaning abilities as well, uh, specifically for maintenance washes because I do so many of them a week and that's really where this is going to be targeted for. So it works well in the bucket, two bucket, three bucket, whatever you're going to do. And we're going to use it today and I'm going to show you guys the first demo in the MTM PF22 and we're using the metering system. I also have a proprietary metering system that we came out with and we're fine tuning that right now and that's going to be going to manufacture soon. Check my Instagram. I got a lot of cool stuff I'm working on including MTM foam cannon holders. Uh, going to make a production batch of those as well. So let me get set up with the 1322. I'll show you guys some clips now. Uh, the car has been driven through a lot of construction zones the last couple of days and I want to get all of this nasty dust and dirt and they're cutting a lot of cement around here and it's all over the inside the wheel well so I want to get it off the car and we're going to see how well it does. Or we're going to look at the cleaning action of the foam runoff on the bottom of the car and I'm going to hold the camera in my hand and we're going to see how well it does. So let's get set up and all right guys we're all set up. Got 1322 connected and we got the Auto Fanatic Snow Foam hooked up to the SG28 and PF22. So let's see how this stuff's going to do. We have to fine tune this here. closer on that because like I said a lot of these wash and shine products they don't foam very well and I tell you this is doing pretty damn good and we're gonna see how well it cleans actually you can see it right down there you see it in the runoff already so it's cleaning a lot of the dirt that's inside the wheel wells and on the bottom of the car So, car's foamed up. I'm gonna let it dwell for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna grab the camera. We're gonna examine the uh, the foam runoff. But let me get closer. You guys could hope the camera could pick this up. Well, you can see all the dirt and road salt dust and everything that's coming off, even inside the wheels. Wow. So I think we're almost there, guys, with the Auto Fanatic shampoo. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. Maybe you guys will give me some ideas in the comments but it works and that's the whole goal. So if we could give self-cleaning properties, good foam, a really good versatile washing solution where you could use it in a bucket or the foam gun or foam cannon or whatever, and you could see that there. I mean, it's really getting, it, getting all the dirt off. Wow. So I'm on the bottom rocker panel of the car and it's only been on the car for maybe about two minutes. You can see that there. Look at this. Look at all that dirt that pulled off right off the back bumper. You can see it all in here. So we're getting close. We're going to play around with it. I want to play around with a few more tweaks. This is the first test of sample number three. And uh, we're going to see where it goes from here. But so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I like the results. You guys can see the results. That's what's great about seeing how well a snow foam or any shampoo is, is doing a maintenance wash and paying attention to the runoff 
as it's dwelling to see if it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. And a lot of soaps don't. They just cling to the car and fall off and they leave a lot of the dirt behind. And that was the number one priority. It's got to work. It's got to offer some sort of self-cleaning properties. And it's got to have the benefits of the 007 Gloss Enhancer. It's not easy to do this stuff, guys. So uh, I'm going to let this dwell for a couple of more minutes, power wash it off, dry it, and I'll show you guys the finished results. You guys could actually see the, the beading of the foam residue. That's because of the 007 polymers that are mixed in with this soap. Man, this stuff is working cool. I gotta say, this is probably the best touchless wash that I've done in a long time. And guys, look at that. Look at all the dirt that's coming off. That's with no agitation at all. The car's been in the rain, road salt, construction dust, stone cutting they're doing around here. I mean, just look at that. That's, that's incredible. Incredible. So let me uh, just finish rinsing off the car, dry it off, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts on this. So I just want to show you guys the car is fully rinsed off and there's like no residue at all and you can see the water beating and sheeting action as i'm rinsing and so i got a pfm towel I'm not using any 007 right now and we're just going to lay it on the surface and see how wow yeah it feels like i just threw some 007 on it and i didn't so let me finish drying the car and I'll give you guys my final thoughts and some ideas on where we're going to go with this uh, very soon. Right, guys, all finished with uh, my maintenance wash and I got to be honest with you, I am so damn excited and impressed at the self-cleaning properties of this new soap that we're working on, the gloss intensity, the rinse off. Um, you guys will probably notice, you can even see some of my videos, when you rinse the foam off the car even with the power washer, the foam will tend to drag across the paint with the auto fanatic foam that we're working on it just flies right off it's so hydrophobic it's unbelievable that's because of the 007 polymers that we're putting in it so I think we're about 90 percent there uh, the self-cleaning properties are outstanding the foaming is great I would like to maybe see if we could tweak the foam and get it a little bit thicker uh, because I know a lot of you guys like the thickest foam uh, and we're gonna play around with the chemistry some more so in this video post your comments Give me some suggestions for a name. Let me know your interest in the Auto Fanatic snow foam. And uh, this most likely will be something that I'm going to be putting out in the next couple of months. Also, follow me on Instagram. I got a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that I don't post. I do giveaways every week of brand new detailing items, tools, and various different things. So follow me on there, and uh, you don't want to miss that, and, and keep the notifications on. And also got some cool stuff coming out. I got MTM foam cannon holders I'm working on. That's on Instagram as well. Um, also the metering valve system that's going to be universal for all foam cannons across the board. So you're not going to have to mix the soap and the water anymore and overflow it and make a mess. You're going to fill your reservoir with whatever soap you want to use. And you have an adjustable metering system. And you just blanket your car whatever way you want it depending on the yield and how much you want to use on your washes. So... Looks like the, uh, the soap that I've been using since it came out last year, the uh, Griot's Garage Boss Foaming Surface Wash, is going to be put on the sidelines as I get more of the Auto Fanatic soap on hand. Also, check the website. We're going to be doing a sponsoring. I want to sponsor 100 fans around the world uh, with Auto Fanatic Car Care. And you guys have to have big social media followings, and I want you guys to help promote and expand and blow this brand up for the spring and summer of 2019, so you don't want to miss that as well. So I'll post more highlights on uh, the Automotive Lifestyle News section. There's going to be a form on the website so you can submit an application with your social media links and a little bit of story about your cars and why you feel you, you would be a good fit for a sponsorship opportunity with the Auto Fanatic Car Care. So see you guys soon. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'm pretty excited about this. 
wheel cleaner second production run is happening we are anticipating deliveries most likely sometime in the month of may so we're probably going to open up another pre-order because it just blew out in four and a half weeks so stay tuned to my website for that when you go when, when the website product page says pre-order you're going to want to jump on that quick uh because we're going to sell out quick again for the spring and summer months so i'll see you guys soon autofanatic at yahoo.com visit auto-fanatic.com for more updates and news and follow my instagram feed for more updates on what i got going on behind the scenes so see you guys later and have a great day mm -hmm.